Hi guys, welcome back. I hope that you're all well. Today I'm going to be talking about my top 10 must-have summer staples and I personally love doing this for myself because I think of it as the backbone of my wardrobe and once I have these items together I feel like it really hones me in on what I need to buy, what I'm going to be keeping from my hauls and also how I use my wardrobe. So I want to be going to my wardrobe and knowing what I can pick out and knowing that everything matches together and this is really the start of that. So I'm going to start with one of my favourite items of the season, which you guys will know if you follow me, and that is the midi dress. This item for me is by far the easiest for the summer months because you can just chuck it on and you're good to go. It's a really easy non-thinker, especially for styling, just to pair it with a really easy basket bag and some sandals and you can go out of the door. I quite like to pick one for a staple that is really, really comfortable. I know that I can dress it up and dress it down. The one that I'm wearing today is my absolute favourite probably for this season and it'll be no surprise that it is from Mango. It's in this gorgeous kind of dusty, almost peachy pink and it has a stripe going through it. It's my favourite kind of design, the v-neck, the really sweet little sleeve and how it ties in the middle. But I also love how this one has a lovely big cutout at the back. It's got some really sweet little slips at the side so that you still feel kind of sexy as it blows in the wind. But you're also slightly covered up, which I think is nice, especially in the UK. My next staple is a white dress and I picked this one as it is mini. I want to have this real, really versatile so changing up the styles in my dresses was really important. And I was so impressed when I found this one from H&M. It has so many beautiful details all over it on the sleeve and also to the front. The frills, how it gathers in here and it also has it all the way down to the bottom. For me, I felt like this is something that you could get from Zimmerman or some really expensive ranges, but it was $24.99, so an absolute bargain. And also, at that price, you don't mind wearing it kind of like sat on the grass, it makes it a lot more of an easy dress, so that's why I popped it into a staple category. Next up is a neutral blazer, and this is one that I've really become to love over the last few years. When I first bought this one, I wasn't sure how much I was going to wear it, and oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I got it because I have absolutely worn it to death and love it with so many outfits and it's probably the one piece in this wardrobe that is versatile all year long I layer it up in the winter with a coat but in these summer months I'm wearing it with a slip dress kind of for a date night it can look really nice but also just with a plain white tee and some denim shorts sling this on and you look so put together again it's kind of that cheat item that you're wanting to look stylish if you just chuck this on then it looks so good and like you've really thought about your outfit which is what I love and I honestly can't get enough of wearing it. Next up is shorts and I went back and forth with either putting in a denim pair or these tailored pair and I decided that the tailored pair I got a lot more wear out of and they were much more versatile because I could dress them up for an evening with a nice blouse and some heels but I also would wear them during the day with just a t-shirt and some sandals so Perfect again for that summer item that you're wanting to take on holiday because you could get a lot of wear out of these on multiple days and multiple occasions. I love that they are a little bit long in length because it just makes it really comfortable. The colour of these are perfect. You may notice as I go through this kind of capsule that I've done for summer that all of the pieces are plain and I think that that's really important. A simple stripe is really easy to chuck in as well but something that just seems very basic because you can wear it with so many different items and dress it up with print if you want to add print in. And what I love about these shorts at the moment is that so many stores have them at very different price points, so if you know that you love them and you want to invest in a good pair that you wear for years, then you can go a little bit higher, but if you're just wanting to try them out, there are loads of stores like H&M which have some really good price ones, so you can see if you like them and see if they suit you. For staple at number five, I picked a pretty blouse. I find that I wear these so much and I particularly wanted to go for this one because I felt like the design but with so many outfits is a little bit different for me than you may have noticed black in my wardrobe and I don't often wear a lot of black but I feel like in the summer months I do start wearing it a little bit more because I have a tan and I feel like it doesn't wash me out so much and I particularly like it with some gold jewellery and something a little bit chunkier. This top is just so flattering. The way that it kind of fits over the main body part here is just gorgeous. It goes over curves really, really nicely. And then I love the puffed sleeves and also the square 
neckline which is so stylish at the moment it looks beautiful with kind of some layered necklaces and i have already worn this one for date night with kind of like the tailored shorts and also with midi skirts kind of more during the day something a bit more floaty with sandals mini skirts for something a little bit more chilled jeans it literally i just keep picking it out and i just love that i have those items in my wardrobe which i wear time and time again and i know particularly this one will take me into the autumn months as well so it's a piece that you will have in your wardrobe that you will get so much wear out of the white jean a real classic in the wardrobe for when the sun starts to shine but i decided to mix mine up a little bit this year by not getting the kind of skinny pair that i have had years and years but getting something you can see I've worn these because they are currently undone getting these which are a little bit more flared to the bottom they're kind of like a straight leg but they've got a tiny tiny flare as they go out I adore this belt I just think that it makes them look something just a little bit different something kind of in between a trouser and a jean and these are so 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 flattering I love finding a white jean which is really flattering and these really are they've got a little bit of a stretch to them they're a beautiful colour. These are Under the Stories and I feel like Under the Stories get their colours just perfect because for me there are a lot of different shades of white. These are actually much more of a creamy white but they just look really expensive and they feel really expensive and really put together. I know Under the Stories isn't the cheapest store in the world but I feel like it's a really good price point for these kind of jeans. And I do tend to find that I'm wearing jeans a lot over the warmer months. I mean, we have had a particularly weird few weeks here in the UK where it's been really sunny and really warm day after day, but it still does get cooler in the evenings. And also, I, if you're inside a lot, say, shopping, um, and it is aircon, then sometimes it's nice to have something that's a little bit warmer. You could even pair this one with a really light summer knit, but wear it when it's warmer with some sandals and also a strappy top. My staple at number six had to be a jumpsuit or play suit or romper, whichever you prefer to call it. And I have been absolutely loving them this summer. I don't know what it is, but I keep gravitating towards them in the shops to the point where now I'm like, I cannot buy any more. But I have particularly been liking this one and wearing it a huge amount at the moment. It is so, so soft. It's just so soft and a really, really gorgeous material. It doesn't crease, so it just feels really e easy going and kind of day to day. I love the white buttons and how it ruches in. It just kind of feels like you're wearing your pajamas, but in a nice way. So I've been loving pairing it with some sandals and a cross body bag. This is probably one of the items that is not so easy to dress up. But to be honest, in the summer months, I feel like you can still go out in an evening for a drink and feel really casual like you've just walked off the beach. I talk about this next staple far, far too much. I just love this item. This is by far in my top 10 most worn items in the whole of my wardrobe. I absolutely love it. It's just a perfect classic for me and that is the white linen shirt, particularly this one from Bowdoin. I have washed this one. It's looking a little bit creased right now because I'm afraid I have worn it because I wear it all of the time. Um, yeah, it's just beautifully, beautifully made. I've washed it about a million times. I think I've had this one Oh, maybe two, three, no, it might even be longer than that, three to four years now, and they still do this kind of same style. Comes out every year in a number of colours. In fact, that's now making me think that I should buy one from them in another colour because I just, I really love it. And I picked the white because it goes with absolutely everything, denim, khaki, beiges, really simple item. You can also wear it with much high, more high-waisted things and tie it in a little knot. Classic such a classic piece that I really think that everybody needs in their wardrobe. Just looks really effortless on as well, which is one of my favorite styles. The plain tee, and if like me, you have a little bit more of a feminine style and you're not quite sure how to work kind of t-shirts into your wardrobe, then I would highly recommend looking for one like this because it just looks a little bit more dressed up. So it's got your kind of t-shirt jersey material on the back. But then if you can see, it kind of changes on the front and it's much more of a satin material in this gorgeous creamy colour. So it's that kind of piece that you don't feel like you're just wearing kind of... Sometimes if I have a t-shirt on, I feel far too casual and I never feel that in this piece. It flows really beautifully on. I have quite a few of like t-shirts in this kind of style, actually. I have one in pink from Mango as well. And I just feel like tucking it in can look so chic and nice. But it's also really, really comfortable. 
Having said that, you can't beat just a plain tee for washing. Obviously this one with the satin material does have to be hand washed or washed on in a delicate cycle. So it's kind of weighing up that like style and practicality. Um, although I, I wear this one loads and I've worn it loads again. This is an item that's been in my wardrobe for a good few years now. The midi skirt and I fell so, so in love with this one. Absolutely adore it. Just the colour is stunning in itself. It's like this light salmony pink colour and love that it's beautifully plain you know that I love things that wrap over I love wrap dresses and I'm the same with wrap skirts this one wraps over the front ties to the side and has this beautiful swishy bottom to it that just looks so smart and gorgeous this one again looks a lot more expensive than I think that it actually is it's, and I don't have much more to say about this one apart from I absolutely love it and could gush about it all day. It's actually really nice, it might look quite dressed up um, through the camera or as I'm showing you but it is also really nice with some trainers and just a white t-shirt, really really simple so again you can get a lot of wear out of it. And last, but by no means at least, a mini skirt for me for those days where you kind of want to get out your legs, where it's really hot, a really lovely day outside, perhaps you're even in something in the park or something like that. And I just adore this one, partly because I do find that it's more of a personal thing than an age thing, but I find the mini skirts where my bum cheeks showing, just I just feel a little bit uncomfortable in them now. Um, so I'm always looking for something that's for me, it just feels a little bit more appropriate for my style, and this one does exactly that. It's that like perfect length where it's still kind of quite like chic and sophisticated, not too short. I love that it's totally plain so that it goes with loads of things, and so it does the colour. And it's got this wrap over, which I find kind of really flattering. There's just something about that kind of drape over with the little button that makes it really nice. It's so simple and it's so so easy that I find myself grabbing for it all of the time. So that is my clothing staples for the summer that I grabbed you all of the time. I did really quickly because I'm sure some of you guys will have noticed want to talk about this bag which I recently got from Mango and I absolutely love and I know it'll be a staple for me in the summer and I like that it has a little bit more of a design to it and it's not just plain and simple because sometimes I think when you're going for a real staple wardrobe you've got a lot of plain colours. It's nice to add something with a little bit of depth and this one is. My gosh, it is so, so beautiful. Again, it's in my favourite, like, pinky, peachy, beige colour. The handle is really beautiful in this bamboo, and you can still fit a lot in it. The only complaint that I have is that, unfortunately, it doesn't come with a strap. But I do know a lot of companies who um, do the kind of adjustable straps, which you can clip on, and you can very easily have a nice, um, probably a gold chain over here, and that would be so beautiful. And then also two shoes which I know I've talked about so much so I don't want to talk about them again in this video but I always get questions about them and that is these wedges. I wear them so so much time and time again. These are some from Castana but you can get a lot of cheaper kind of alternatives. I would invest in these personally. I think they're around the £80 mark and I have worn these so so many times. They were like worth the spend for me for sure. And then a simple pair of sliders, which I think are just a must-have. I love the rattan design over these, and they just have a little bit of support, which makes them that much more comfortable. I love that you can slip them on and off so that they're easy to get on if you are on holiday or that kind of thing. Thanks for coming along with me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing my staples for summer and my little capsule wardrobe that I have built to pair with lots of other items in my wardrobe. I have done a few other videos which have been similar, so my top dresses for the summer months and recently just a mango haul, so I will pop all of those in because I have some of those pieces in here too so that you can continue watching if you feel like it. Do give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you are new. It would mean the world to me and I will see you all soon. Bye.